Hey there, viewers. Thanks for tuning into our meteorology segment. We are excited to have the capability to bring it to you. So here is our first feature, the jet streams of the eastern world. Some extreme bends here in the western Pacific. A little bit of indecision there. The jet stream trying to blow backwards and then reversing its course. Here are the surface winds. Again, strong low pressure system here south of the Aleutian Islands. It's in about the same place it was yesterday. Let's look at the surface winds of the western world. There you have that. An anticyclone here off of Nova Scotia. And a low pressure system here near the Azores. Next, uh, the uh, jet streams of the western world. And a pretty decent anticyclone here at the upper level off the coast of Ireland. Continuing on, it's your 72-hour precipitation and pressure forecast. It's the GFS forecast for precipitation and pressure. And 72-hour forecasts are pretty accurate. The rain in the northeast is going to move pretty steadily out here. So look for things to clear up in the northeast in a few hours. Getting some precipitation here in Lehigh Valley, Pennsylvania. Next, we're going to show the pressure forecast and check out this high pressure. This is a berserk high pressure system. Check out the size of that thing. I think that is the largest high pressure system we've ever covered in our meteorology content. That is one giant anticyclone. If there's anything on the Earth that is similar to the Great Red Spot, that's it. The Great Red Spot is not a storm, folks. It's an anticyclone, which is a high pressure system. And you can expect to see clear skies over that entire area there. And let's advance this. This is the European forecast for pressure at 1300 Eastern Standard Time tomorrow on November 23rd. And that's windy.com. They've got a great mobile app also. We've got some warnings up the East Coast here. Those are some gale warnings. And if your county's lit up, head to weather.gov, click on your county, get your alerts. Some hard freeze warnings continuing here in Alabama. And some, uh, what are those, winter weather advisories? Winter weather advisories in uh, around the southeastern portion of Ontario and Lake Erie. Lake Erie and Lake Ontario. Some winter weather advisories there. Some lake effect snow. Also south, southeast of uh, Lake Superior there. Some wind advisories in Wyoming, red flag warnings. And so again, if your county is lit up, just click it. We don't want to spend too much time on the weather.gov map. Next, a NASA goes lightning map or map. And we've seen some lightning here going across uh, Louisiana, Mississippi, and Alabama. Let's see if there's any terrestrial lightning at the moment. I don't think so. Not in the U.S. Close, but no dice. Anyway, when I hear thunder, I head to lightningmaps.org. Did you know that we're also on BitChute? BitChute. Did you know that we're also on YouTube? Seriously. If you're not watching the videos on YouTube, I, I don't know what else to tell you. If you refuse to watch YouTube, you're missing like 90% of our content. Sorry, we just have to have exclusives on all the different sites. BitChute.com slash smash mash. We get a lot more views on BitChute strangely than we do on YouTube, despite YouTube having an estimated like 1 billion users per day. Anyway, yeah, youtube.com slash smashamash. Help us out by pressing like and subscribe. Press share. Share on Facebook. Maybe share on Meta's Facebook page. You know, everybody knows how much we love Meta. Meta, we love your employees, and we have less sort of a... less sort of an affinity for the company Meta. If you're not familiar with it, Facebook changed its name to Meta. We think it's hilarious. By the way, Facebook was instrumental in us creating smashamash.com. It was created as an answer to pathetic censorship. Yeah, pathetic censorship on the internet. You might have noticed some. We noticed it in 2018. That's why we created our own website in 2019. Smashamash.com. All kinds of links you can find there. Links to the Smash team. All kinds of stuff nobody else gets to see. Make sure you log in. There are also non-login available posts. There's a little tidbit of what's going on. Welcome to the Neo Renaissance. Visit the links. Check out the Smash-O merch link as well. You can save 25% off on all clothing. 
throughout the day today. So hurry up and get to the sites. Click the links below the video. You'll find the links to the Redbubble shop down there. Again, 25 off apparel to save 25% on all clothing. And every one of those designs has clothing, folks. We would remind each one of you to forgive, remember, and hold accountable. Also, Mensa. Make Earth not suck again. It's up to you. Thanks to everybody who picked up merch. Thanks to our Twitch followers. This video was originally streamed live to Twitch. Let's get back to meteorology here. It's the water vapor environment over the a Pacific Ocean. It's an awfully big body of water. And we're looking at the air above said water. That should give you some insight into the western portion of the country's weather. And there you can see that long band of storms making all the way from the Gulf of Lawrence down to New Orleans. And zooming out to give a quick glimpse of the other two of our 50 states. A little bit of precipitation there in Alaska. And let's move on to the cloud layer. Here's the shortwave radiation map, which shows you fog and clouds at night. Here's the water vapor map, which will show you the way things will move. Just remember that dry air is more massive than moist air at a given temperature and pressure. Here's your recap. There's the Doppler for the lower 48. There is the cloud layer. That's a shortwave radiation satellite, 3.9 nanometers. And this is the water vapor satellite, which is uh, 6.19 nanometers. Some cold air being injected into the Great Lakes states as we speak. Thanks for tuning in. Once again, congratulations on realizing the channel exists. I've been your host, Dan, a.k.a. Smash and Mash, signing off from the Smash News Network, least busted, name and news.